It is said that in 1840, a naval battle took place between Uruguay and Brazil. Due to a shortage of cannonballs, the Uruguayan warship loaded its cannons with cheese. As a result, they shot through the enemy ship's sails and eventually won the battle. To verify this legend, they invited a cheese expert to assist with the test. Using food texture analysis, they performed puncture tests on Edam cheese, smoked cheese, and Spanish cheese. The results showed that Spanish cheese had a hard texture and was not easy to break. This made it the most likely candidate to be used as a cannonball. Next, they moved on to the actual test. They went to the dock. First, they set up a 19th century style sail on this destroyer. The cannon was placed 30 feet away and aimed at the sail. Three types of cheese would be tested. But the size of the cheese did not match the cannon's caliber, so the cheese had to be cut and adjusted first. The first to be tested was Adam cheese. It was fired completely and hit the target, but its mass was not enough to penetrate the sail. The smoked cheese could not withstand the power of the gunpowder. It turned into charred fragments right after leaving the barrel. Now all the hopes were pinned on the Spanish cheese. This was also the variety most promising in the earlier puncture tests. The test began, and as expected, the Spanish cheese absorbed all the explosive force of the gunpowder. It stayed intact and successfully pierced through the sail. If this cheese were to hit a person, the injury would likely be fatal. The legend was proven true. 